Welcome to the first video of Avijit's biology. Today I am going to discuss about the central dogma of molecular biology. The central dogma of molecular biology is a process by which the messages or the instruction in DNA are converted into a functional product that is proteins. It explains the flow of genetic information from DNA to RNA to make a functional product protein. This process was first proposed by Francis Crick in the year 1958. The central dogma suggests that DNA contains the information needed to make all of our proteins. RNA acts as a messenger through the ribosome. Now let's have a look at the overall process of the central dogma of molecular biology. According to the central dogma of molecular biology, DNA produces RNA and RNA produces protein. The process by which RNA is produced from DNA is called transcription. Transcription is a process in which the synthesis of RNA takes place from DNA. This copy of RNA is called messenger RNA which carries the messages from DNA. The process in which protein is produced from RNA is called translation. Translation is a process in which proteins are created from the mRNA template. In this process, the genetic code contained within the mRNA molecule is decoded to produce a specific sequence of amino acid in a polypeptide chain. Now, the process in which DNA is produced from RNA is called reverse transcription. In this process, a complementary DNA is produced from an RNA template by an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. DNA can be synthesized from itself. This process is called DNA replication. DNA replication is the process by which two identical copies of DNA is produced from one original DNA molecule. DNA replication is semi-conservative. This is the overall process of central dogma of molecular biology. It's all for today. Thank you. Please like the video and please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon.